Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I am Clementine, and as always, I am Super Saiyan. But never mind that. This will be a quick video made in response to a video that was posted by a viewer asking about specifically building pickups to be out of phase when used in conjunction with other pickups. So I will explain several ways that this can be done using video clips and simple diagrams that should be easy for anyone to understand. If this sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned! And roll that beautiful bean footage. If you don't have a full understanding of what in phase and out of phase is and how that affects the sound of the guitar, you can click this tag up in the corner and there'll be a video that completely explains that with a, a lot of simple diagrams and even like 17 different audio examples while showing you a diagram of the wiring and pickup configuration that you are hearing. So real quick before I answer these questions, uh, let me show you a clip of the video that was posted by Uncle Dad's Garage. There's a link to his channel in the description and then I'll do my best to answer it. So here's my buddy Clementine making uh, the gold foil pickup and my friend George saw the video and he wants to know how to wind a reverse phase if used in conjunction with any pickup. Clementine, that is a question that I will pose to you. Here goes. We got a pickup bobbin. This is one I just draw up. It's got six poles on it. Could be a P90, could be a strat coil, or even a gold foil. It's just a picture to represent a pickup for the diagram. So we got to wind a coil onto that bobbin. Then you have to solder wires to the beginning of that coil and the end of that coil. This will be done in different ways and different pickup configurations. So here are the wires. Now, one pickup can neither be in phase or out of phase. It's just a pickup, so we need two. And for the sake of simplicity, I'll skip knobs, switches, all that, and I'll just put an output jack here. Now, if we tie these two red wires coming from the center of the coil together and the two black wires coming from the outsides of the coil together and run them to the jack, you will get in phase parallel wiring configuration. One of the simplest ways to put these two pickups out of phase is to leave that bottom pickup hooked up this way. But then, and I'll change the color of the wires to keep it from being confusing, the simplest way to put this is for all intents and purposes, you hook the one pickup up backwards. And yes, this will work fine. I've done an entire guitar with a bunch of different pickup wiring combinations using this technique. The only drawback is that with this one pickup that is hooked up backwards, your outer windings are hooked to the positive positive lead and this takes away the shielding effect that those outside winds being negative would normally give you. Now depending on the way that your guitar wiring is set up and if you're working with three or four wire pickups or uh, if you have a base plate which is also grounded and maybe in contact with your body ground or shielding this could work fine or it could be very buzzy and hummy or it could ground out that pickup and make it dead silent. So it would be better to have those pickups wired in that first configuration but then somehow make them still be out of phase and there's two ways to do this this is the first one and this is for if you're winding your own pickups let's say the one pickup has been wound clockwise well then you can simply wind the other pickup counterclockwise and this will put them out of phase but you will still have the negatives toward the outsides of the coils now if you watch my videos you know that I predominantly wind on an old sewing machine and this thing goes in a counterclockwise rotation now, if I need the other coil to be wound clockwise, what I would have to do is to mount the pickup on the machine with the face of the pickup toward the sewing machine. But I'm pretty sure that some pickup winders that you buy and also a, a drill, it will go in either direction. But let's say that you don't have a way to wind in multiple di directions or you are trying to do this with a pickup that has already been built and wound. That's where we'll go to magnetic phase. So let's say that uh, you got the these kind of strat coils that have the bar magnets on the back or it could be a p90 or gold foil pickup that have multiple or single magnets inside bar magnets you can use a compass to check your polarity it will either be south or north toward the poles or the front of the pickup with those strat pickups that have the ceramic bar on the back you can pry that off and take it and what you want to do is to flip one of those magnets so that one reads north and one reads south from either the front or the back. It, it doesn't matter which is which as long as they are different. 
but obviously if your pickups are happen to be wound in different directions then they will need to be the same and if you are working with a third pickup you want that to be the same as either one of these two that you would like for it to be in phase with now if you're not building or modifying a pickup that has bar magnets and it has alnico slugs in it well if you're building you'll have to charge those anyway and if the pickup already is finished you can always recharge those by flipping it and sweeping it between two strong magnets to reverse the polarity and that'll put you out of phase on that type of pickup and that's just about it but if you do this and you still don't know am i in phase or out of phase here will be a quick audio demonstration of in phase versus out of phase and you will really be able to tell a difference that just about does it for this video if you found this educational or entertaining in any way please like and maybe subscribe if you have any further questions or ideas for a future video hit the doobly doo down below i'm clementine you have been watching heavy metal atc till next time